the meat and fruit diet versus the carnivore diet which is better currently on the internet there is a debate going around about which diet is the best diet to be following at the moment this is whether we should be eating fruit or whether we should just stick to eating just meat and dairy only some people claim that you need carbohydrates to thrive as a human of why you want to have carbohydrates in your diet and that is hormonal health generally almost always see their hormones get better and other people believe that you do not need carbohydrates to thrive as a human you can do this without any carbohydrates after seeing this debate online there was only one way to settle this and really find out which diet is the better diet i decided to follow these diets for a hundred days each to see what gave me the best results and to really understand what diet is better and whether you should have fruit in your diet or whether you should leave it out after following the diets for a hundred days i'm here to give you my feedback on what my experience was with doing both of these diets firstly we must understand what the meat and fruit diet is now the meat and fruit diet is exactly like it sounds it's eating only meat fruit for your diet the majority of your calories come from just meat and fruit the meat and fruit diet has recently come about from someone called paul saladino if you're watching this video you probably know who he is but he used to be an ex-carnivore which now believes that adding fructose into your diet is the best way to thrive as a human alongside with these animal products he decided to quit carnivore because he ran into a few issues with electrolytes and he didn't feel that great with his performance so that is why he decided to add fruit in and the way he done this is thinking about what is the least inflammatory carbohydrates you can use and for most people we believe that it is fruit his diet consists of red meat eggs honey all types of fruit and raw dairy he's gained millions of followers over the past few years through telling everybody about this diet and more and more people are trying it and more and more people are finding great results with this diet what is the carnivore diet the carnivore diet is simply only eating meat and dairy meat and dairy anything that comes from an animal so people are just eating this the diet originally came from someone called dr sean baker who has started to put more and more emphasis on how good only eating meat is for you seeing that many many more people have come out about this and they are now more and more people are doing videos and more and more people are talking about their experiences with this diet but this diet has seemed to heal many many health issues chronic conditions and people are reversing all sorts of health issues from diabetes to autoimmune diseases all a range of bad diseases that we are currently seeing in the world and these are all getting reversed from doing a carnivore meat-based diet and this is why more and more people are talking about it you know you've got people on joe rogan talking about it joe rogan talks about it loads and loads of more people are following this diet now we understand what both of these diets are what do these diets have in common there are no seed oils now we all know that seed oils are not the greatest thing for us because they believe that seeds contain defense chemicals which are harmful to humans so this is why they have both cut out seed oils and they do not do this and this means eating anything with seeds in even fruits even vegetables anything that has seeds in they completely avoid other thing is they do not contain processed sugar anyone knows that processed sugar is not good for the human body in very large consumptions if you're eating a lot of sugar you're gonna get fat you're gonna have many autoimmune diseases and this is why people are becoming so woke to this because there are so many people experiencing chronic health conditions because of eating too much sugar the diets do not have any gluten in it they avoid gluten they avoid wheat because people believe that wheat is very not good for your gut lining it's full of gluten which is going to damage your gut and open those tight junctions causing leaky gut it's also a grain which is something they avoid both diets are just simply cutting out all junk food all processed food that's made in a factory and they're sticking to more natural whole food sources and this is why these diets are becoming popular because we all know that the more natural the food is the better it is for your health and the last thing they have in common both of these diets are similar because they are both eating mainly animal products most of the diets going to consist of red meats bacon eggs all of these sorts of things and that is the main source of your food people with the fruit they just add it in as a little substitute but the main bulk of their calories are coming from animal products 
and this is the same as the carnivore diet. So I followed both diets for 100 days to see which one I preferred. Now I had many benefits to both of these diets and I also had negatives and this is what we're going to talk about. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the benefits I found from eating only fruit and meat. First one, of course, was that my energy levels were so much better better my energy levels felt a lot better than when i was on carnivore because all as we know you're getting quick energy from carbohydrates sometimes i felt issues on carnivore where i'd have a lack of energy and i didn't feel as good but once i would have fruit i would feel a lot better and i felt that i actually had a lot more energy throughout the day and especially for my workouts my workouts were so much better when i was following the meat and fruit approach is that my sleep was so much better i noticed that my sleep was I slept way better and I did feel a lot more like I could get in a deeper sleep and that is one of the benefits I saw from the fruit diet of course my gut health improved massively too my gut I had not as much bloating my bloating went down a lot there was still a little amount of bloating but that obviously comes from the fiber and the fruit it was a lot better my stomach was a lot better I looked a lot better I had the other one is less physical stress when you are putting your body into a ketosis this can create a lot of cortisol to raise and obviously when you're not in a state of ketogenic you usually find that people are a lot calmer this is what i experienced is that my body felt a lot calmer when i was following the meat and fruit diet i felt calmer in a physical way not a mental way but i felt very calm in a physical state shaky where i've got so much adrenaline and all of these different things i noticed that were felt a lot better when eating carbs let's talk about the benefits i saw from carnivore my mental health has never been better ever on the carnivore diet just eating meat even when i'm eating fruit my mental health doesn't feel anywhere as good as it does on the carnivore diet and my mind also isn't as clear as when i'm on the carnivore diet I don't know if this is because the carbohydrates are creating inflammation and this is what's causing me to feel like that but i felt so much better on the carnivore diet mentally and this is one of the massive benefits i found i find that if i eat too many carbohydrates i feel very anxious when i'm on the carnivore diet pretty much anxiety doesn't exist i don't know if this is because your blood sugar is more stable but on carnivore i pretty much have zero anxiety the second one is my skin was so much clearer and this was way more clearer than when I was doing the meat and fruit diet my skin just looked so clear and I had no spots apart from the first days where you follow it and your body's adapting to it other than that my skin is clean I don't use any skincare product I don't use anything on my skin other than water it's the best my skin's ever looked notice that also the bags under my eyes have completely gone to some extent whereas I used to have really big bags like this following carnivore they are completely gone that is the same with the meat and fruit diet but it's nowhere near as the same as when I'm on carnivore I think there is a different thing about being in a ketogenic state that makes you glow. Everyone that I see that follows a keto diet, their eyes glow and their skin glows. Also, I noticed my focus when working is so much better because I'm not having energy crashes throughout the day. My energy is just staying completely stable throughout the day and I'm able to get a lot more work done. The last benefit I saw is that your physique looks so much better when you are on complete carnivore. Now, when you're eating carbohydrates, you are still stocking up your glycogen so you're holding a lot more water and you look a lot bigger when you are on a carnivore diet no carbs you are losing water weight and you look so much leaner your muscles come out more you look so better your face leans down your body leans down and you just look so much better in general even better than when you're following the meat and fruit diet two negatives i saw about following the meat and fruit diet is i felt a little bit more inflamed in my body my body didn't feel as sharp as it did on the carnivore diet my body felt a bit more sore and that makes sense because obviously carbs are giving you inflammation other one is my gut was not as good as when i'm following carnivore don't know if this is because when you're adding more foods in you're giving your stomach more of a chance to react to foods negatively and maybe this is why i had a worse gut no it wasn't anything like following a standard american diet it was still amazing in that context but obviously it was just not as good as the carnivore diet because on the carnivore diet your stomach seems to be so calm so chilled 
apart from when you are first adapting to the diet. The negatives of the meat diet was that my sleep was so much worse. This is becoming a big issue for people that follow carnivore is the sleep. No matter what I do, if I have electrolytes before bed, if I have fat before bed, my sleep just is nowhere near as good as when I'm eating carbohydrate. It doesn't even come close and most of the times I'm laying in bed and I can't sleep. My mind's going 100 miles an hour and I only ever experienced this on the carnivore diet. I followed the carnivore diet for six, 12 months. So I don't know if sleep will improve as your body adapts more, but following the meat and fruit diet, my sleep was so much better. The second one, and most people run into this issue, is the electrolyte issue. I find that sometimes I can feel very fatigued. Sometimes I can feel a bit crampy and a bit inflamed and my bones can hurt a little bit. And this is what I found is electrolyte issues. Constantly drinking water with salt in, but I still find myself, when I'm training, having electrolyte issues. Tried electrolyte tablets, all of these things, but it's very common because when you're on a ketogenic diet, you're not holding water. So you are a lot more dehydrated and you just have to keep refreshing. And I find it kind of annoying. I need to have this much salt to not have cramping. Whereas this is something I did not experience on the meat and fruit diet. Other negatives I found on the meat only diet is that your performance in the gym is nowhere near as good. I don't feel as strong. I don't feel as powerful. I don't feel as ready to go in the gym session as if I was eating a little bit of fruit fruit before my gym session so this is something that you have to take into consideration obviously you are not as good as building muscle with eating meat only because it's a lot harder to get the calories in you need necessary kind of force eating this is something i learned through the meat and fruit you have way more of an appetite and you're way better at lifting and eating more to get the recovery you need from that workout if you are someone that is trying to lose weight of course carnivore is going to be amazing for that because you are just not hungry when you're in a state of ketosis you're just not hungry when you're eating just protein and fat food doesn't give you this massive massive dopamine spike so you are not wanting to keep eating and eating and eating like you do with carbohydrates what is my overall opinion of these diets and which one would i say is better for me personally at the stage i I am in life I would say that the carnivore meat only diet is better my reasons for this is because I am so focused on work I'm not that into my performance at the moment I am into just looking good and putting minimal effort in to look good and I find that on the carnivore diet my body looks better I don't train as well but I still can train my energy is good but mainly my focus when doing work is amazing and at this point in my life my work is what is most important to me this is why the carnivore diet for me is better at the moment overall i would say the meat and fruit diet is amazing for someone who just wants to have a bit more energy just wants to feel better and you can absolutely thrive on this diet for me my mental state is more important to me but if you do not have any issues with carbohydrates then i think that the meat and fruit diet will be perfect for you perfect for your performance perfect for your body composition you're going to see massive benefits i also want to preface this that i believe that fruit is very good in the summer when it's more available not so much in the winter so i do like to follow a carnivore diet in the winter and then as summer comes along i'm more active i'm outside more i'm doing more i'm less focused on work then i add my carbohydrates in as i start to develop over time i probably will add a bit more carbohydrates in and see if i can get any of these electrolyte issues out of the way but for me at the moment i'm finding carnivore is so good for a reset on my body and i feel very amazing whether this will change down the line i don't know but i do believe that just removing junk food removing these seed oils is the way to go there's this massive debate on what diet's better whether to eat fruit this is bad for you that is bad for you what is bad for you is processed junk food and eating it all the time drinking alcohol all the time really producing just massive amounts of inflammation in your body i think we can all agree whether you eat meat or fruit or whether you eat carnivore is that you need to get these foods out of your diet because these are causing the issues we are seeing in the day and age. So whatever diet you follow, whatever one's better for you, it doesn't matter as long as you are getting all of these negative inflammatory fluids out of your diet. So I hope this has helped. This was my experience with the carnivore versus meat and fruit diet. Please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.